think the program as a whole, I'm super proud of where the guys are and the culture that we bring and the character that we bring to the table. And I think that's gonna attribute to some wins this year as well. I know that our record doesn't show it, but we were extremely competitive throughout the entire year with probably the toughest schedule we've ever faced. I knew that we were gonna be able to compete and I knew there were gonna be some matches that were gonna go our direction, but getting those young guys experience on the court, we lost two guys last year, a starting middle and a starting outside, but I think the depth in each position this year will be stronger based on the experience that we gained last year. You know, having you know Christian Janke and Cole Udall back as two uh, freshman all MPSF guys, that's, that's a great thing for us. That's obviously See something we've never done as a program and then you know Camden Gianni who missed last season you know with some medical conditions he's back and stronger than ever and you know he's going to be a guy on the court that's really going to surprise some people as a freshman this year. It's going to make everyone better. Camden is extremely special with what he can do offensively from the back row and the front row from the service line. It's going to level our distribution across the nets. Our middles are going to be extremely offensive this year. I think David Kieschel coming back, he didn't have a ton of reps through the fall just with some shoulder issues, but he's got a big year of experience under his belt from last year as our starting opposite. He's only going to be stronger this year, so I think that we're going to really kind of surprise some people. Kieschel for the kill! We have three setters. All three setters are very different. I think there's going to be some interchanging parts this year in that setting position, which is great because it's going to give teams a different look with our distribution numbers, but we're definitely preaching, pushing our tempo as fast as we can go. The most improved player would be Kyle Thompson. He's a guy last year that was just kind of lost, lost in the mix. Offensively, he'd have these spectacular, you know, highlight reel moments, uh, but then blocking wise, it would be kind of like, hey, Kyle, like, what are you thinking? And now Kyle is really taking a huge step forward, really is having a great understanding for the game. He's one of our better blockers in system and out of system now, which is pretty special, I think, for a sophomore. Yes, Kyle. We're gonna go in and try to win every match. You know, that's, uh, that's the expectation that we preach. It's losing is not acceptable. We're gonna put our best foot forward and give every team our best effort. So you're gonna see us diving around playing gritty volleyball. Our youth is gonna be exciting to watch, but there also might be some laughable moments and that's okay, we'll laugh at them and move on. The Antelope Gym is special, and this is definitely a place that we want to keep exploding to the, the hotbed of Arizona volleyball and have the best environment out there.